wholesale markets such as these are a prime place to sell fruit and veg. But with transport costs high, distance can be a real disadvantage. It's this problem that's forced farmer Steve and Jack on the Moray Coast to diversify. Although blessed with long daylight hours and the perfect soil to grow root vegetables, he can't compete on price. And it's this dilemma that's led him to grow unusual types of carrot. Oh, I like that. What, what is that? This is called Purple Elite. So it's quite a vibrant colour, but if we snap it open, you get this fantastic little array of colours. We've got uh, some red carrots here. That's quite... a pretty, pretty thing. And I've seen lots of different colours. I've never, ever seen a red carrot before. Well, is it orange in the middle or is it pink? No, it's pink right through. Yeah, that's beautiful. How many different colours? Uh, at the moment, we've got about five. How many colours do you want? I want the full rainbow. Is that right? We're going to keep going. I think that's great. What got you into this innovation in the first place? Transport's a massive cost for us. If we were to grow the standard carrot in the north of Scotland to supply the, um, the main population areas in the UK, it could be up to one third. A third? There's a big additional cost of getting our product to market from the north of Scotland. There's no doubt about it. So, a third of the price Stephen gets paid for his carrots goes on transport. This is huge, and much more than any grower down south would spend. By transporting a speciality carrot rather than a standard carrot, Stephen can charge a premium, making the haulage costs worthwhile. But his love of carrots runs deeper than this. He is passionate about changing our carrot eating habits, all inspired by a trip to America. Approximately 90% of the carrots grown in the States are eaten raw, um, often between mealtimes for snacks. How does that compare with us? In the UK, it's probably the opposite. Um, the vast majority of the carrots that, that we eat, we cook. There's a massive opportunity, largely untapped for this type of produce, to find its way into between meal snacks. Is there much of a market in snacking? The more you look around, the more you see of different types of snacks becoming available. So there's clearly a, an opportunity out there. Whether we're going for a drink, whether we're go going to the cinema, it goes hand in hand with many activities. I don't suppose the different colours taste differently, do they? It's quite subtle, but uh, they definitely have different tastes. Do they? Yeah. So can I try a purple sure. one? Sure. The sweetness is there, but there's a real earthiness to it yeah. as well. Yeah. The orange often has a slightly bitter aftertaste to it, which the, the different colours, uh, they don't. What about red one? Give it a try. Not as sweet as this, but, but a beautiful looking thing. The yellow? Also slightly different, yeah. I'm enjoying this. The yellow one's got an all, almost herby finish. They're all beautifully sweet. Yeah. All lovely and crunchy. When you look at the when you look at the core of the traditional type carrot, it's quite a big woody core there, which doesn't taste great. Um, whereas this one here, very slim, tender core, um, and it's perfect for snacks. Got a bug bunny.